ask how the issue of young driver safety has evolved over the years and, and actually it's something we've known about for a very long time. We've known for the best part of three quarters of a century that this group presents a very specific set of road safety challenges. The one thing we know for sure is that young and novice drivers are overrepresented in crashes. I think there are a range of things that can be done. There are things we can do with the licensing system. We can encourage uh, or ensure that learner drivers, for example, get even more practice on the roads before they're set out on the roads by themselves. We can also look at strengthening the licensing system post-test to, for example, protect learner drivers from those high-risk situations. Technology, of course, will play a big role in improving road safety in a number of ways. With this particular group, there's a lot of promise in telematics systems, for example, that monitor young driver behaviour. There are also wider technologies on vehicles um, and potentially in the road system itself that will hopefully drive down road deaths over the coming decades as well. So in terms of how TRL can help with road safety issues, well, TRL has one of the biggest dedicated sets of people uh, working in road safety in the world. We have people who know about driver behaviour, people who know about vehicle safety, and we work with governments, with organisations like uh, local authorities, for example, foreign governments as well, in really helping them to understand what road safety problems they have and designing and evaluating interventions to overcome them.